When the new Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental makes its first flight, it will be exciting for sure. But from a pilot's perspective, it won't be as challenging as what you're about to see. Captain Mark Firestein, chief pilot for the 747-8, and first officer Captain Charles Gephardt are taking the airplane for a simulated flight that will encounter some of the most extreme conditions. V1. It's all part of the flight line gauntlet test, an exhaustive two-day check of the airplane's capabilities. While the engines are running, the 747-8 never leaves the ground. Instead, a powerful simulator provides real-life inputs, forcing the airplane to operate as if it were flying. And the flight test team has drawn up a series of systems failures for the airplane to handle. We actually go look at these conditions that we consider exceptionally rare to make sure that the airplane performs as expected. After a quick warm-up flight, the team launches into the first of many induced failures, such as taking out the first officer's flight instrumentation. No problem. Then the team turns off all four generators. Now we've done it. Again, the airplane handles the issue just fine with its layers of built-in backups. Next comes an even more difficult challenge. The team will cut off fuel to three of the airplane's four engines. Here we really are shutting them down. Through it all, Captain Firestein is able to maintain control and maneuver the airplane safely with just one functioning engine. We are really uh, pushing the, the envelope in terms of uh, testing and ensuring that uh, the extreme cases are taken care of. Some of the conditions that we're looking at might be caused to keep people up at night, but in fact it gives us a lot of confidence that the airplane can handle whatever's thrown at it. Flight test engineers in the cabin monitor the airplane's performance throughout the two-day gauntlet. They will now conduct a thorough review of the data to make sure the airplane is indeed ready. If so, the 747-8 Intercontinental will soon take to the sky for real.